What's up guys? Just jumped in the truck. It's Sunday. I uh, figured I'd get a Sunday off hanging with the kids, but uh, was running some errands today and my uh, my truck brake started grinding. So I'm running over to Napa, grabbing some uh, maybe front pads and rotors. It sounds like it's coming from the front. Figure I'd take you guys along with me. We'll knock out these brakes together. Um, quick how-to, everybody does brakes, you know, and then for you uh, DIYers or weekend warrior guys that do your brakes, maybe you could catch a couple tips off me, get you guys propped up in the shop, get these parts grabbed from Napa real quick, and uh, run through these real quick. Maybe give you some tips on uh, how I knock them out. I want to be in and out of there in maybe 25 minutes, so we'll see. So, see you guys in a minute. So just leaving Napa now, got the brakes, premium stuff. I also picked up these uh, heavy duty cleaning wipes, clean my tools. I figured I'd give these a try, six or seven bucks, there's 40 of them in there. Hey, why not, right? But let's get these over to the shop, I'm only right down the street. Parts. All right, guys. So I got it pulled into the shop. Got the parts here. Cart right there. I'm gonna try to do this. Um, I'm gonna try to do this without getting my shirt dirty, so you guys can see. Fairly decent. Maybe got some hot sauce from lunchtime on there right there. One little stain. No grease though. We'll see if I can do this with, without getting my shirt dirty. And let's say, what, it's uh, 439 right now. We'll see how long it actually takes me actual work to get these done. I'm gonna set up the camera. I'm gonna set up the, t the clock in front of it, the tablet in front of it, so you guys can see in real time. I'm gonna try not to edit, but uh, you know I don't like waiting for the rack to go up, so I'll probably edit that, but you guys see the clock the whole time. Mechanics truck is always the last to get fixed or a mechanic's car is always the last to get fixed you know we're too busy fixing everybody else's uh, car and truck ours is always the last one to get worked on hit that like button if you know what I'm talking about so here we go get a good angle there there's this side get the tablet set this thing up so you guys can see it Well. All right, guys. So it's four forty two. I got that in the screen. We get this thing raised up. I had to go to settings. We only got 30 minutes for that screen goes off. Gloves. 
I always have trouble finding out which one's the uh, actual one. Leave me a comment, you guys have the same problem. All right. Forgot I gotta use the thin wall socket on these. This looks like an 18 for the caliper, bolts in the back, getting everything ready here, and then we got a 19 for the pin. I always take just the lower bolt off, no need to take uh, both pins out, it's got enough slack here on the hose to just flip it up and out of the way. I think I see the grinding. There's our culprit right there, you guys can see kind of hitting on an angle there, probably got jammed up inside, the, inside there. Pistons. They went in all right. The other pad out there. works there. Got it. See that sucker was grinding. I like to clean the rust. Make sure the rust is cleaned off the hub. Where the rotor meets the uh, the hub, the bearing. Got a nice flat surface there. Cool. My wire brush. Grease. Got new caliper hardware in the bag. Put this on there. Make sure the bottoms are all cleaned up. Alright. Got new stuff on there. As far as the grease, guys. Less is more. You don't want to overload this thing with grease. Um, just a real light coat on there is more than enough. That's about it right there. That's probably more than enough. Less is better. Less is better. Less is more.
All right, so that's that. Let me get the rotor. There's Napa's premium rotor. It's heavy. Drop down. Screw back in. Now these pads are uh, inboard outboard. You can see the difference. This got the straight, and then this got the U shape. This is for the front, the outside, and this is for the back. I always put since the rotor is rotating this way to go forward, the little squeak indicator pin goes on the bottom back because you want that to be the first thing it hits when the rotor gets down low enough to give you a warning that the pads are low. Slide these bad boys in there. up these slides. This you want to be pretty generous with. Make sure there's enough on there. Make sure they move freely. Slap the caliper back on. That's one side down. Let's start putting some of this stuff on this side. Now that I got all the tools out, it should be easier. I'll show you guys a little something with these tires. We'll go down a little bit here. These bigger tires, instead of grabbing them and using your back to put them on there, you have them like this facing outward towards you <clears throat> and then just rest them into your knees and flip them onto there. It saves your back. Just like that. Line up the holes. Get you guys on the other side. Clean up your mess as you go. Alright guys, check the clock, 456, we're going to double check that as we go, let's go on this side, get this other side done. Get you guys in kind of closer on this side, there we go, let's tire off.
bottom pin. Right way. Push those pistons in a little bit so you can slide it off without it grabbing. I like to hit the pistons right away. That way if they didn't go in I could hurry up and order a caliper, but they seem to be going in. off. Always make sure the caliper is secure. The Milwaukee takes those off no problem. Get this anchor cleaned up. Getting the new hardware on there. Guys, Apply a little bit of grease. Let's get this rotor off. No problem. Good deal. Dodge the bullet on that one. All right. I have to break out the torch. Right, clean up this hub. You grab that rotor. Probably had about 20 minutes right now, guys. Got the pad, a piece of metal tab, squeak indicator at the bottom, in the back. Sometimes I have issues getting these on because when they paint these pads, they got it so thick with paint it doesn't want to fit in there. So I cleaned out all the rust. Front one went on. Let's see. Now I'm going to have to get some of that off. I just knocked some of the paint off of there. If you guys are ever having trouble with that, always check for the paint. See if it goes on now. No problem. Already greased up that top slide. Grease up this bottom one. Make sure it slides nice. Good. The 19 millimeter bolt back in. Thank you. 
That tire got a little bit of my shirt dirty. Darn it. Let this thing down, retorque it, clean up these tools. Get you guys back by the clock. We'll see how long that took. So we're at 5.06, guys. So about a 20 minute break job. Torque these rims to about a hundred with the split beam. Looks like I missed the lug over there, guys. I had to tighten my hand. All right, guys. So 509. Let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think I could have done to maybe save some time or get them done a little quicker. Um, you know, always faster you get them in, faster you get them out, the more you get to do. But uh, I think we did pretty good. I usually don't rush that much on uh, customers' cars. You know, I tend to take my time, especially if I'm not in any rush. Um, but uh, you know it's Sunday I want to get back with the family and all that stuff get these things done so tomorrow when I wake up on Monday I could uh, have fresh brakes on the car I ain't got to worry about it during the day tomorrow or stay late for work to get my own work on my own car damage report those tires got my shirt a little bit hopefully that comes out use gloves so my hands aren't too bad that's it Sunday brake job on my own truck let me know what you guys think in the comments um, as always, like the video, subscribe. Guys, we only got a couple more days before this uh, September tool giveaway. Good luck to everybody. We'll be catching you guys in a couple days. I'll be shooting a video on that, the raffles. I'm actually gonna, uh, I'm gonna be taking these home tonight. Have my wife write all the names, everybody's names in there on there. Good luck to everybody. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Signing out.